this dude literally buried his vice principal. I was just joking. After he beat that blonde guy up, I was like, you know what? Fuck up the vice principal too. If he dies, then there's no evidence, right? He actually did. He even dug his own grave and he got away with it. You imagine you in high school trying to do that shit. You think you're going to get away with it? No, because you're not an anime main character, obviously. But this guy is so built different. I think we're playing Quidditch now. Apparently, no first year has ever done it. But we can't fly for shit. Now, can we do something like Sanji? Maybe this is a little bit of spoiler, but air kicks? Like, you kick the ground multiple times, so you kind of like float in there. Probably something like that, right? Let's begin today's reaction, though. There's so much Harry Potter references. <laughs> it's called a duello here, right? Not a... Uh, not Quidditch. But he's still on the ground. Basically, put the ball on the hoop. Yup. Air... Soccer? Basketball? I don't know. Sports ball! So, like... How is he gonna do this, though? <laughs> he doesn't care at all. <laughs> Narrator! I really like this guy, because he just goes on, like... <laughs> like, inspirational speeches out of nowhere. Yeah, who promised that? Did he just dragged him here? Mighty Bamboo. Okay, sure. I, I didn't know that Bamboo could do that, but okay. Bamboo it, dude. <laughs> He's smoking that good bamboo. Why? Why'd you recruit a guy that can't fly? Well, I uh, he got the like the record last episode, right? So on like it theoretically he should be really good, but little does he know. <laughs> oh no! It'll be fun, right? That was kind of Lord Tom. That was kind of rough. No foul. On the ground! Bro leaned in with his shoulder. What do you mean, accident? Seriously? Mesh, you need to... I they don't care. They're just trying to hear the win. I, I don't think they gave a fuck. It's all about results at the end of the day. Exactly. You know, he's an asshole. And he obviously shouldn't have done that. But there is a little bit of truth to what he's saying in terms of competition. It's the memories? Huh. Have no regrets. Try your best. This guy is so good. He's so motivational. Mash, can you do something, please? But, like, how? Repeated kicks in the air to have him float like one piece like Sanji. Here we go, here we go. Okay. But he's just... They're not showing his feet. They're not showing his feet. It, like, you know in swimming, when you're trying to, like, stay afloat, is he doing that? <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna question it? No one's gonna question this shit? He's actually doing it. He, he, he's actually doing it. And like, will he just throw it really hard? Like, it doesn't matter if they're in the way. But like, he's gonna shoot a fucking cannon. <laughs> no, he's not joking though. Oh, this is gonna be good. Just throw it. Just throw it. Or maybe he can outmaneuver them too, but I don't know. Usually he just brute forces everything, so yeah, here we go. Bazooka cannon time. <laughs> oh my god, strike! Batter out! Nice English. So 49 points though, like we're gonna have to do this 49 more times. Right back at him. How did I return? What? Huh? He's throwing it like a boomerang with enough spin so that it reaches there. But uh, that's insane. That, I mean, why am I even trying to argue the physics in this world when this dude is literally staying afloat by kicking the air? Like, there's no point <laughs> trying to, you know, reason with the logic of what's happening. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy it. 49 times. It's working. Like, this is just allowed. Like, hello? Hello? <laughs> That she is so in love. My man! At least try to look like you're trying! Easy. He gave it his all. You said so. 999. You know, this is another first impression for MASH. Everybody witnessed him right now. This guy's insane. Oh, he finally showed up. Wait, but he's like a upper year, right? Lance Crown. What a name. Lance's first name is already a strong enough, like, first name. Last name is Crown? 
This dude's like a king. First in the entrance exams. Dude, I thought you had the thing for mesh. How are you gonna? Okay, good, good, good. I'm like, this, these hoes ain't loyal. Huh? Challenge him to a duel right now. Let's go. <laughs> no. no. He takes everything so literally. <laughs> Come to the forest. Like, remember the other guy that told Mash to come out to fight, but he just went to make cream puffs instead and forgot? What if he just forgets? Does he even care? I think he would go for Finn, but it'd be funny. Okay, he showed up. I'd be so funny if he just started making cream puffs again. The lines? Magic power. So more lines, more strong. Oh, I sh okay. Single line. That single line is just like low level, right? Most people are single line, but this guy has two lines. There's gotta be like triple lines and shit, right? Multiple marks, like, like oh, you can, oh, it doesn't have to be like one side. It can like be doubles on each side. Okay, okay, okay. One in 100k. But like, Mash is probably an exception that goes beyond one in 100k, right? Because he has no line. He doesn't necessarily seem to be a bad person, like Lance. I don't know, he just probably has a lot to prove, and he feels that Mash is a threat, and obviously he is, but maybe he's not a villain. Maybe he'll be like a good friend or a rival. Slacker? We don't slack, do you know how hard we work out? Is he even listening? No, he's just so bored. Okay, so duel. Get your wand out. <laughs> do we need a wand? Not really. <laughs> Hmm? Hmm? Gravity spell? Oh! <laughs> this is where dad is. I'm like, well, cause like, he, Brad destroyed dad's place. Like, where is he even staying? I guess, I don't know. He just, they're just best friends now. What was the purpose of that gravity spell? Just to make a cool ring? I mean, it looks pretty cool, yeah? I like flashy performances. I mean, Mash is flashy sometimes, too. This guy specializes in, like, gravity magic. But the thing about Mash is that he's so strong, he should be able to withstand any level of gravity, right? Aspirations. Why is he so motivated to become, like, the divine visionary or something, right? My plane. This guy must have such like an important flashback. Like he is so determined, no matter what, to get all those silver coins. No, nah, he'll just get up. No, the, 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 he jinxed it. <laughs> He's no regular human though. Bro, like, come on, he's just gonna get up. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten up just yet. Hmm. Without standing. Okay, just level the ground like that too. <laughs> no, it's not even. I mean, you saw him <laughs> like burst through the fucking maze. Damn. Yo, Mash can talk shit too at times. I love how everyone's talking because he wants to match just got them hands up. <laughs> Even with the gravity. Oh, this precious pendant. What's in the pendant? He was always looking at it. Open it. Hmm? What? Oh. Sister? Siscon? Siscon? Lollicon Siscon? Lance, you got some explanation. <laughs> yes! Thank you! Finally! No. Just a sister. Siscon, yeah. Alright, what is it then? It's a Siscon complex, right? <laughs> He's so proud! He's so proud of it! <laughs> so in instead of just a regular lollicon, so this is incestual lollicon, right? Yes, even better. His sister? He's probably gonna be like, for the sake of my sister. Is she sick or something? Do you need to become. <laughs> no, not cream puffs. What then? You said cream puffs already! 
Is it obvious? What is it? He's just gonna say his sister. <laughs> is it that obvious? I mean, I think it was pretty obvious what he was saying, but <laughs> he's acting like this is the rule of law. Says you. Lance went from serious character just to like kind of not joke character, but where the fuck did this come from? Hmm. I hope that there is more to this is con complex, right? I, I hope that I don't know. I, I like he's trying to become a divine visionary for the sake of his sister because I don't know. She has some kind of sickness and she's trying to save her. I, I don't know. Okay, so she has some kind of sickness. So the only way to save her is probably to become a divine visionary. What? Wait, Marks can go away. He's willing to overthrow the system too then. He has all the qualities to align with MASH and like help Dumbledore overthrow the system. Like the Bureau, he's really trying to overthrow the status quo too. There goes MASH. I mean... I don't think this will matter. Mash will probably save unless was he is he gone? <laughs> He's getting warmed up, dude. <laughs> He's still warming up, dude. The bottle's falling. Hamstring magic bullshit. <laughs> I like that he's naming his techniques though. <laughs> oh, let's go. Big Bang Dash, hamstring magic. I love it. Bro, do we have time to monologue? <laughs> the bottle's falling! Here he goes! Holy sh- That initial start was sick, but did you see the descent? Oh, easy. What's more unrealistic than him going that fast is the fact that the bottle didn't hit the ground <laughs> by the time that he was fucking warming up and doing a monologue. Yeah, he, he isn't a bad guy. And in fact, I think there's potential for these two to be like somewhat maybe rivals or just friends and help each other out. A what? Oh, he is a softie. Oh. <laughs> Multiple checks. <laughs> I thought he was attacking him. Yeah, that's that's the whole point. Yeah. I mean, Mash has his own goals too. If he doesn't, then he won't survive in this world, right? For the sake of his dad and him. Hmm. Too clumsy to make rational decisions. Maybe he thinks that Mash is gonna be a threat and he's like, don't you dare meet my sister. Oh, I forgot what we even bet. Oh shit, he's actually giving us a silver coin. Two of them, or just one? So, they're just fragments. I wonder what the whole piece looks like at the end. For real. I think that Mash should have still won. I don't think Mash is going all out at all. But, the fact that Mash would even say something like that, kind of proves that Lance is probably also next level. Not only that, but two lines, remember? This world of magic is so mysterious, but here and there, they spread a little bit of crumbs for the plot, right? So now we know more about the lines. There exist people with two lines. So are they initially born with two lines? Like a single line user can't evolve into a multi-line user. And is two lines at most? Can there be like three and four? Who even knows? And the lines can even disappear. That is so odd. And the way that the narrator is saying he was hyping up the two line user, right? One in a hundred K. Mash, no lines at all. Imagine how exceptional he is. The, the world is slowly expanding. There's so many secrets. We'll see what happens. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.